Anglesey Herman woke up with a swordfish stuck in his neck, and boy did it hurt. Herman had spent the night sailing on the North Sea with Matchstick Ken. Why they call him Matchstick Ken, I'll have to tell you another time. But it had been a balmy summer evening, and the drinks had flowed like the falls of Niagara. Between them, they managed to drink enough ale and whiskey to sink a lifeboat. Herman had passed out on the deck, and awoke to find a medium-sized swordfish embedded in his neck. How did Anglesey Herman get a swordfish stuck in his neck? Really, how did that happen? Herman was very fortunate the fish didn't pierce his windpipe or any other vital airway, and although the swordfish was firmly embedded, it didn't actually penetrate that deeply. It was also very dead, so it hadn't squirmed and hadn't caused any damage. It's quite a shock to wake up and find a scaly piskeen sticking unsightly out of one's neck. Herman very carefully removed the creature, and the wound then bled quite considerably. But Herman, no stranger to flesh wounds, staunched the blood and glued the wound shut. Funnily enough, the question of how the fish came to be stuck in his neck didn't pique Anglesey Herman's interest in the slightest. What did pique his interest, however, was the fact that he and Matchstick Ken now had something pretty decent to cook for breakfast. In fact, getting a swordfish in the neck had been quite a stroke of luck, because without it, Anglesey de Herman didn't have much of a choice when it came to breakfast. Herman came hugely unprepared on the fishing trip. He had a bottle of whiskey and a packet of Fisherman's Friend, and that was it. He brought no change of clothes and no food. Matchstick Ken wasn't much help. He was on an all-seed diet at the time of the swordfish incident. Herman basically had a choice of a handful of seeds or a loaf of very dry, crusty bread for breakfast. The issue over what to eat for breakfast must have bothered Anglesey Herman quite a lot. As he slept out on the deck between the stars and the deep blue sea, Herman dreamt that he had a couple of tasty-looking kippers and was frying them in their own juice. You know what it's like. You have a really vivid dream about something you really want and then wake up all disappointed when you realise you were just dreaming and you don't have it at all. Well, it was like that with Anglesey Herman and the Kippers. So, as it turned out, the swordfish in his neck was a bit of a gift from the gods, really. So, Herman fried the swordfish and it was delicious with a bit of crusty bread. Matchstick Kane maintained his seedy diet, so Herman even had a little bit left over for later. And to this day, Anglesey Herman likes nothing better than a swordfish breakfast after a night on the piss.